Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. And looking at all these dead leaves. You'd think I'd used Roundup or something, right? Well, no. I used a mixture of horticultural vinegar, some dish soap, and water. And this is three hours after application. That's a quick, quick burn down right there. And they're shriveling up pretty good. And there's not a lot of stuff that kills these dandelions, you know? So we're de-weeding the railroad. Better living through chemicals, I guess you could say, but, uh, but it's a safer chemical. Yeah, it's, it's vinegar. That doesn't kill to the roots, though. That's the unfortunate thing, but uh, everything up top dies. So, it's going to be uh, going to be good that this stuff doesn't uh, doesn't grow any further on the track. I went up through most of the track and uh, did an application. I didn't have enough to do the entire track, but yeah, most of it. Oh, we'll get this guy out of here. Just kind of get him down in the woods where he can do no harm or less harm. So, yeah. There's a lot more weeding, or a lot more herbiciding that needs to be done, but uh, and it even gets rid of uh, these stinging nettles. So, good stuff. Let's go to the whiteboard. Here's our formula. One gallon of 45% vinegar. One third cup of dish soap. One gallon of water. That's US gallons. I don't know what this is in uh, metric. Uh, let's see, that'd be, uh, I think about this. So it's 3.8 liters of 45% vinegar, 3.8 liters of water. I gotta cross my T. And uh, I think it's about 250 milliliters of dish soap, liquid dish soap. Something close to that, and you will have a weed-killing concoction. So, let's go back outside. Now mix all that stuff together in a two-gallon pump sprayer, and you will get rid of your weeds. Well, at least what's growing on the top. Um, it doesn't kill the roots, but, uh, you know, you don't always need to kill the roots. Sometimes all you need to do is kill what's on top. You just keep doing it, and eventually it doesn't grow back eventually. It'll take a year or two, but every week with this stuff does pretty darn good. Doesn't cost quite as much as, uh, as Roundup or some of the other uh, uh, chemical herbicides, and it doesn't have some of, the, uh, some of the other health side effects that that stuff does either. Um, if you're sensitive to the strong smell of vinegar, uh, you might have a problem with that, but uh, well, the, uh, the cure to that is uh, plenty of ventilation. We're outside. There's plenty of ventilation. Just uh, hold your breath or use a mask. I even sprayed the turntable pit this morning. Now, something I learned in the process of doing all this, you want to spray it on good and heavy. Um, you don't want to do a really light spray or you end up with... Oh, Something that doesn't do much. Put it on good and heavy, and uh, then it works more like this here, which is uh, killing off this stuff pretty good. The only uh, drawback, I think, is uh, you end up with this strong vinegar smell for the next several hours, but uh, outside of a, of a craving for, for a uh, Caesar salad afterwards, uh, it's really not much. So I want to thank you for watching. If you did like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If I deserved it, hit the subscribe button. And 
If, uh, if you'd like to support our channel, you can go to patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. That's patreon.com slash Millbrook Railroad. And you can help me do uh, more projects like this. Um, it's uh, the support of our Patreons that gets a lot of these projects completed. Like this turntable, which needs to be completed. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.